I'm here in Finsbury Park, I'm at City North and I'm here to see the Ben Kinsella Knife Crime Awareness Exhibition. Um, the exhibition has been set up to raise awareness about um, knife crime and lots of schools and organisations have been visiting. Um, I believe this week the exhibition has been paid for by Ronnie Wood and his new wife Sally. Um, I think they've paid money to keep it open on half term. So I'm here and I'm speaking to the trust called trust manager Abby, and she's going to tell me a little bit about the exhibition. Yeah. Hi. So we yeah the the knife crime awareness exhibition has been open since September. Um, usually schools and youth groups book in to come and see us and they spend about half a day with us. We do a workshop with them as we show them around the exhibition. And we work with a real range of young people, so down to year fives, um, up to year year ten. Um, we also work with youth offending teams and pupil referral units. Um, so a, a real range of children and young people come and see us um, because there is such a need for this education, particularly in London, but also in other areas of the UK. Um, this week is really special for us because we've never been able to open our doors to the community before. So anybody um, who wanted to has been able to drop in, have a tour of the exhibition. So we've had families in, um, we've had some youth groups um, that we haven't had through our doors come in before. Um, and, and so far we've had um, nearly 150 people come in and visit us. So it's been, it's been a real success for us. And do, do you think a lot of people are, they are waking up and realising, you know, the dangers of carrying knives or...? I, I think for some people, yes. Um, um, sorry, you might have to pause it there. I'm just trying to think of an answer to that, to that okay. question. I'll leave it running. Yeah. Um, I think what, what we try and show here is how deep the consequences are of knife crime. So... Rather, young people when they come here, they often think, "Oh, we're going to see, we're going to see wounds, we're going to see boxes with knives in." But actually, what we're showing here is how a family have been affected, how friends have been affected, how it's changed people's lives forever. Um, so that we're coming at it from a very personal angle. I think a lot of the children, young people, can really relate um, to the, the, you know, to Ben and his story and and the things that they hear when they come. Um, we have an, an actor in a prison cell um, who, who acts out what life is like in prison for him. And that also is something that has a great impact on the, on the children and young people. Because now, being in prison can be glorified to a certain extent. And there's a real perception that you, you go in, you get a flat screen TV and an Xbox. Um, and we're trying to show the reality, which is, is far from that. OK, well, I'm very grateful that you've taken the time to speak to me. And um, I really hope that this exhibition gets to tour and um, I believe it, you're looking for exhibition venues in the east, west and south of England Yeah, we're, our next move will be will probably be to South London um, but in 2014 I think we'll be looking to take the exhibition outside of London and to different cities in the UK so, um, so watch this space basically yeah. <laughs> Okay, well thank you very much for yeah. put, putting the exhibition on Yeah, okay, Thanks. no problem